My name is Matthew Allen and I'm part of the Universe Lab team which is part of the Trio Psychometry Project. So we're working with seven schools across South Wales talking to them all about astronomy and space. So we're here today with seven of our schools over the few days of the UK Space Conference. We're talking to them about exoplanets and about aliens, the chance of alien life. And so the reason we're here is there's a really good competition running at the moment where schools across the UK can name an exoplanet. So it's really fantastic schools, hopefully some of the Trio Psychometry schools will actually come up with a name for this planet which hopefully um, will actually come the proper name of the planet we're hoping but even if it isn't we're actually getting the children to design an alien that could survive on this planet so it's a massive gas giant planet really really hot so we're getting the kids to think about what alien life might be able to survive on such a planet so we've got some really really amazing pictures of what those aliens might look like we're also asking the kids whether they think that aliens might exist or not actually so far we're finding that most of the children think that aliens might exist which is a really exciting thing so we're really really looking forward to seeing some of more of the alien designs that we're going to see of the rest of the uh, conference while we're here. Over the last couple of months um, the experience we've had has been very positive with geoscience. They've come into the school running workshops, the kids have really bought into it and found it extremely engaging. It's really developing a, um, a, a knowledge of space um, discovery within the school to the fact that um, through uh, pupil feedback uh, we've got a space week now planned in October um, and so yeah it's had a really positive impact within the school. Well it's a, it's a fantastic facility here we've got in Wales um, and the fact that it's been run very professionally with by Trio Science um, from the moment we've got on the bus this morning right way through so far and I know the kids are really looking forward to meeting a real live astronaut in Tim Peake later on. My colleagues behind me are doing a little bit of an exploration as to how a pressure suit can keep astronauts alive in space and understanding the science behind pressurisation and the challenges of living, working or, or exploring a vacuum. Um, we've got our astronaut Valentina with us, um, who you can see behind me, and they're also doing some hands-on demonstration. When you're launching into space, you're going to eat, what other functions are you going to have to do? If you drink lots of water, what do you then have to do? Go to the toilet. You need to go to the toilet. So if you're sitting in your very small spacecraft, do you think you're going to take off this entire suit, take off all the layers to go to the toilet? No. So how do we go to the toilet in space? We have a very special bladder just here. You also might hear some bangs and pops in the background behind me as well because we've got lots of experiments from different organisations going on and we've got um, hundreds of Year 8 students from schools in this area coming to visit um, and take part in this program. They're also going to do a few activities with the National Centre for Earth Observation and they're also going to get to see a planetarium show. I've learned about space and the moon particularly. So firstly I looked at a Lego figure of the, a rocket um, and we talked about what type of materials and what type of things would go into rockets and how they work. Um, next we got shown a test rocket how it went into the sky um, and they tested it so it would work to see if they could send bigger rockets up um, and we also looked at how it worked and the engine how it took off. What I particularly enjoyed today was looking at the different types of materials that go into a space rocket and how much they would cost and things. I find it really interesting how what they what they cost and like how they make their money and how they get people to go up and do these things in space. Um, so that's what I found very interesting. So today I'm looking forward to seeing the um, Tim Peake, the astronaut. So um, he's a big idol to me and he's very inspirational and I can't wait to meet him. I've been excited all day and uh, I feel like he's a very he's a very role model person and he I just can't wait to meet him, yeah. Good to see you all here this morning and uh, I've been hearing from Susan some of the things that you've been up to and I'm really delighted to be here to talk to you a little bit about my mission to the International Space Station and then there's going to be some time for questions afterwards so uh, if you've got any questions as we're going through the presentation then save them for, for later. <laughs> 